People have asked me why I wrote this book, and one of my answers is, what if there had never been a book about Jackie Robinson? And I feel like Perry Wallace is a pioneer of the caliber of a Jackie Robinson that people don't know anything about, and it's a real honor to tell his story. So if you look at the cover of the book, it's a picture of a, of a young basketball player with a little bit of a sepia tone in the 60s dunking a basketball. And you might think, if you judge a book by its cover, that it's strictly a sports book. But I did not write this book just to appeal to people who are interested in sports. You know, I feel like it's a much bigger book than that. And if you look at Perry's story, it's really a civil rights story and a story of a pioneer who is achieving things on the basketball court that uh, is elevated to a much different level uh, about race in America and what it takes to be a pioneer in, in any field. Sure. No good on the shot. Hit by Wallace. He takes it up and lays it in. Perry Wallace with six points, top on the board. He played for Pearl High School in Nashville, undefeated season his senior year. He was highly recruited by colleges all over the country. He was a valedictorian and could dunk as well as anyone in the country, high school or college level. He had wanted to get out of Nashville, to get out of segregation in the South. He was recruited by schools in the Big Ten. Vanderbilt really wasn't on his radar until he took a recruiting visit to this campus and saw that the basketball players and football players actually were going to class. But there was a strong engineering department, which is what he was interested in studying. He decided that uh, to take a close look at Vanderbilt because of the academic opportunities available to him as much as anything. Tip opening this quarter. Wallace over a double screen is no good. Wallace, however, gets the ball on the quarter. Joseph Herbert brings it back outside. So Perry was born in 1948 in Nashville. He entered kindergarten in 1954, the year of Brown versus Board of Education. He was a seven-year-old kid when Emmett Till was murdered. Uh, he was a 12-year-old kid sneaking downtown to the lunch counters in downtown Nashville to watch the sit-ins. He entered high school a week after Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. The Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act were passed while he was in high school. At one level, the world is changing. He's recruited to Vanderbilt. He comes to this campus that had only integrated two years earlier. But he arrives here and immediately, things are not what he hoped they would be. And Wallace has the rebound. Perry Wallace, clearing for Pearl. But Perry Wallace, back in the game, outside the Herbert Park. Off the rim, Wallace rebounds. He is up, he is going This is my first book. I've spent eight years working on it. People have asked me, why is it relevant today? And I think if you read the news, that race in America is something that uh, needs to be talked about. And I think that this book is accessible to people. It's you know, ostensibly about a basketball player. It's easy for anybody to pick up a book and read about you know, a sports hero that overcame obstacles. And I think if once people get into it, there'll be a lot more to it than maybe they bargained for. And that's what I'm really hoping, is that people realize this is a book that, yes, it's about a basketball pioneer, but it's about so many more issues than that.